Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for the 18th to 25th of December. I am Charlene Lizette. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Merry whatever you celebrate. I hope you're having a great time. All right, my loves, let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week. We do have Mercury retrograde in Capricorn until the 20, uh, I think it's 22nd, and then it moves into Sagittarius. Um, so it's still retrograde until the 1st of, J of July, by the way, or January, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We've got, um, we've got an extra card here for you, but I am going to take it. All right. So let's see what is going on. Okay. Am I, I, I would say this to you. I don't know who you're hanging out with, where you're celebrating and what you're doing. Be very, um, yeah. Be very cautious and careful of people who are excessively drinking or consuming alcohol during this holiday season. Uh, they may be a little bit unhinged. And with Mercury retrograde in Capricorn, they may say things that are um, unnecessary and uh, aggressive and unnecessary. Okay. Uh, just know that you have every right to defend yourself. You have every right to speak up. You have every right to say like, no, thank you. We're done here, right? Like you have every right to be respected and to ask for respect. And you need to set those boundaries in place and you tell people how uh, you will allow them to treat you. The reason why I was mentioning this is because we're starting off with the devil. So the devil is addictions. It's codependency. It's attachments. It's uh faulty belief systems. It can also indicate abusive people. And with that three of, of cups and that nine of cups, uh, I just can't help but feel like some people are going to be overindulging a little bit and they're going to be behaving in a less than ideal way. And with Mercury retrograde, it also opens up the doors for uh, unnecessary communication or things uh, being communicated in a very aggressive or nasty ways. You are going to be successful in whatever obstacles, challenges you face this week. You have the success card here. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And then we have the sun card here. So I am seeing that things are going to work out in your favor. I think also that you're going to be vindicated and justified. So if somebody here has wronged you, um, they will they will be getting their karma very quickly too because we have uh, the justice card here. So I think as soon as Mercury stations direct with that Knight of Pentacles uh, and we move into Capricorn season, you're going to see more justice. Um, in your life, you're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. I can't help but feel like some of you um, may be dealing with some problematic individuals this week. Uh, this could be family. This could be friends. This could be exes. Uh, there's just a, this interesting dynamic, Libra, here of um, some type of obstacles or challenges. And if they're not people, it's your own emotions coming up during this time. It's your own feelings. It's your wounding. Um, you know, maybe the holidays aren't a, a joyous time. Time for you. Maybe you remember a lot of pain and suffering from your youth during the holidays. And I want you to know that you will have every right to rewrite that narrative, to rewrite that story. With Page of Swords and Page of Pentacles here, what I'm seeing is conversations being had on how do you let go of the past? How do you create um, change? How do you um, cultivate a new story, a new narrative. If you were the author of your life and in the book of your life, your main character always uh, experienced struggle and challenges around the holidays, around Christmas, how do you rewrite that? How do you rewrite that so that it turns out to be something that is favorable for you, something that um, brings you joy and brings you happiness, right? Instead of pain. How do you do that? That's the question. That's that's your responsibility this week. That's what you get to uncover this week for your highest good, okay? Don't forget that, all right? Now, we're going to dive into... I also love that you're showing up in your reading as well because it makes me feel like you're tuning into your power, almost like you're learning how to advocate for yourself, um, how to stand up for yourself, and how to tell like oppressive, nasty people to 
to butt off and mind their own business. The amulet you got from Starsea Jewels this week is Sana, which is a heart healing amulet. It's all about healing your heart chakra and opening up your heart uh, to the greatest love of all. Let's dive into your love reading here, uh, speaking of love, and see what's going on, okay? We've got honeymoon, we've got finances and career, whoop. And we got express your love, beautiful passion at the bottom of the deck. If you are in a relationship, I think your partner this week is going to really show you how much they love you, how much they care about you, and how much they're wanting to co-create a healthy community, a healthy environment with you. Even um, if you're having a lot of troubles, like, you know, memories, feelings, emotions are coming up, okay? I want you to know that you um, would benefit from maybe taking a staycation or taking some time away or going on an adventure. If you're totally single, go to the spa by yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like, go do something to uplift your spirit, something that's going to bring you joy and happiness. Finances and career, the high priestess and the four of swords. I also see in your love life, um, your love life is currently affected by your finances right now. So money, money challenges, money obstacles uh, may be at the forefront and your relationship may be on the back end or love maybe on the back end this week and that's okay honestly it's okay um you know i know love is amazing i love love you love love we love love and love is beautiful but it's also okay to focus on career finances and stability um so that way love can come in in a healthy way as well okay and then we got page of swords and express your love i i do get this feeling here that for some of you you are going to have um communication in the form of somebody expressing their love, their adoration, their attraction for you, their feelings for you. Don't be surprised if a Leo, a Capricorn, a Libra uh, lets you know that they, you know, they got a crush on you, they like you, or you could be hearing from somebody from the past as well with that Mercury retrograde, somebody letting you know that they still have feelings for you or wishing you a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, um, somebody interested in, um, you know, wanting to rekindle something here, uh, you know, let them express their love to you. Let them wine and dine you if that's what you're feeling. If you're totally out of that connection and you're not interested in it, let it go, right? The bottom line this week here is for you to learn how to tune into your power, okay? The minute you tune into your power, the minute you reprogram your energy, the minute you master your mindset, everything else comes into play, all right? And aligns perfectly in harmony for you. I'm going to pop this video here to help you out with um, dealing with some of these obstacles. And if you want to book a session with me, pick up your amulet or work with me in any capacity. It's in the description box below, okay? Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.